Starbucks may make their blended drinks in a lot of flavors, but these ones are conspicuously missing. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Frappuccino flavors we need. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the Starbucks Frappuccino flavors of our dreams. Most of these ideas on our list already exist as secret menu items, but we know that official Starbucks creations would be so much better. Number 10. Strawberry Cheesecake Like many of the other entries on our list, a strawberry cheesecake frap is something that fans have already dreamed up and created using the Starbucks secret menu. It also exists on the real menu in several Asian countries and as a limited edition treat in Australia, but sadly has not made its way to Europe or America. This New York City favorite would undoubtedly make for a great frappuccino, with the tartness of cream cheese working as a perfect contrast to the sweetness of the fruit. Number 9. Creamsicle If you want to bring back the nostalgia of your childhood summers, you know that grabbing an ice-cold creamsicle will do the trick. It stands to reason that a delicious blended drink featuring the classic creamsicle flavor would be even better. There are secret menu hacks that exist to try to recreate this frozen treat that involve blending milk, orange juice, classic syrup and cream base, and topping the whole thing with whipped cream. While you wait for Starbucks to actually produce a creamsicle frap, this recipe is a pretty decent substitute. Number 8. Apple Pie Another all-American dessert that somehow hasn't received the honor of being translated into a frappuccino is apple pie. People have tried to create secret menu versions using apple juice and cinnamon dolce syrup, but it's just not the same as the hot and gooey comfort food we know and love. You're lying. You're tastes like apple pie. You're lying. Tastes like apple pie. I'm so excited. It tastes like apple pie. I'm so excited. It tastes like apple pie. In Japan, a flavor exists called American Cherry Pie, but apple pie lovers will argue that that definitely isn't the same thing. We'd want this frap to have a pastry crumble on top to replicate our favorite holiday dessert. Number 7. Earl Grey My name is Alaska Thunder and I have something to say. Tea-flavored frappuccinos aren't breaking news or anything. Chai cream and green tea cream both already exist on the official Starbucks menu. In the summer of 2017, the coffee chain debuted some new flavors exclusive to Asia, including a matcha Earl Grey jelly frappuccino, which blends both green tea flavor and a layer of Earl Grey jelly. We can't imagine exactly what that would taste like, and outside of a trip to Asia, we probably won't find out. This traditionally English beverage would definitely be a hit if it was available as a frapp stateside. Number 6. Reese's Cup all right, so we know that this creation would involve a collaboration between Starbucks and Hershey, but it seems like a match made in heaven. Everyone knows that there's no flavor combo better than chocolate and peanut butter, so it would be a no-brainer to turn this popular snack food into a Starbucks drink. You got peanut butter on my chocolate. Well, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. Bravissimo. Sadly, while Starbucks does serve several items that may contain traces of peanuts, they don't have any explicitly nut-based ingredients on the menu, so it seems unlikely that this dream will ever come true. Number 5. Carrot Cake This subtly sweet flavor of carrots and the sugary delight of cream cheese frosting make carrot cake a favorite dessert for many. One woman decided to ask the employees at her local Starbucks for an extra special favor by requesting that they blend carrot juice into her vanilla bean frappuccino and add cinnamon dolce syrup. While this definitely won't fly with any Starbucks barista, it makes us realize just how delicious this frap would be. Fingers crossed that they decide to try this one out. Number 4. Ferrero Rocher This is another frappuccino that would require an official brand collaboration, but it doesn't seem like a stretch, since Starbucks already offers a hazelnut frappuccino on its official menu. You can adapt this to taste more like a Ferrero Rocher by adding some mocha syrup to the mix. People also hack the Java Chip Frappuccino by adding hazelnut syrup and mocha syrup to it, which they swear tastes just like the gold foiled treat. Since Ferrero Rocher has such a distinct flavor though, we'd love if Starbucks would make this one official. Number 3. Peach Cobbler This southern summer delicacy is a favorite in the United States. 
and is usually topped with vanilla ice cream. Since Starbucks has made similar classic dessert flavors like s'mores and pumpkin spice, we think that this could be a great fresh new option. Though Starbucks does have a peach syrup that they typically use for iced drinks, so far there hasn't been any frappuccinos featuring the flavor. This could make for a great limited edition warm weather drink that we know we'd love. Number 2. Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Is there anything more satisfying than sneaking a spoonful of cookie dough before baking them? Unfortunately, there's always a risk of salmonella when raw eggs are involved, but the recent cookie dough mania has spawned many recipes and even stores that make fully edible, no-cook, guilt-free cookie dough. We definitely need Starbucks to get on this bandwagon. The double chocolatey chip creme frappuccino is already on the menu, so it seems like it would be easy to add some cookie dough bits and give the people what they want. Number 1. Oreo Wait, this doesn't already exist? It's pretty baffling that Starbucks has somehow never partnered with Nabisco to create a frappuccino that would undoubtedly be a bestseller. McDonald's makes a similar beverage using the popular cookie, and people have created countless hacks to try to recreate the taste of what they imagine an Oreo frap would be. Of course, it just isn't the same without the signature crunch of an actual Oreo. Fingers crossed that someone makes this collab happen in the near future. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.